Mike Smith here with Jordan Minchev of the Bulgarian under-20 national team. We're here in Sofia. I just got a nice win. Uh, what has this experience been like for you so far? Uh, that's always a good experience. That's a big tournament. So, uh, it's a big tournament. And, uh, sure. What is your role on this team? Uh, I'm trying to be a, a leader of this team. We got one more guy, Ivan Lipiev, but we didn't show uh, our full potential yet, but I think next game we got to be much better. Of course we won today, but we can do much better. For people watching this who don't know much about you, you know your background, where you're from, what can you tell us about You know where in Bulgaria you're from, uh, how long you've been playing basketball, some things like that? I'm from Slivan, it's a small city in Bulgaria, and um, I started 10 years ago playing basketball. Now I play a third match and, and uh, I'm happy about that. Sure. Any other athletes in your family? Yeah, my, my mom, my parents were uh, athletes also, but when they made it, they, they finished. They played basketball or which sports? No, track and field. Track and field, okay. Yeah. Did you do track and field also? Yeah, I started with that. Just seven months, but I didn't like it at all and yeah. I started with basketball. So how did Fenerbahce find you? Two years ago when uh, on the same tournament, on the 18, they, they followed me uh, the whole tournament and I did it good, so they called me and two months later I signed with them. Sure. And I know you were on loan this past season playing in Macedonia and in Skopje. Uh, what was that like for you? What type of season did you have? I guess I had a good season. Uh, and I, I could do it much better, but sure. I did a good season. I was happy about what I did, and now it's time to finish better on this yeah. tournament. How would you describe yourself as a player? Your, you know, your strengths, your weaknesses. Uh, trying to be everywhere. Uh, for sure I can rebound and uh, push a ball on fast break. That's my strongest yeah. side. And what are you still trying to improve? I'm trying to improve my shoot off table and maybe one on one. And next season, uh, you know, what are your plans? You're, you're maybe going to be on loan again or you're going to be with Fenerbahce? What is the plan for you? I'll do my best and stay very much. Sure. And you think you can help them at the Turkish, the, in the Turkish first division? Yeah, why not? If I, if I do it good, um, I mean, uh, Coach Bradovic uh, do, do a lot of things for the young players, give credit to the young players. And if I take my chance and my opportunity, why not? Sure. How much time have you spent around Coach Bradovic and anything that you've learned from him, you know, in that time? I learned a lot of basketball. And I just I have to be happy that yeah. I I'm in good I'm in good with him and sure. all this organization like very much. And where do you see yourself in positionally? Where are you most comfortable? Me or like like three but three playing low post on uh, shorter guys. Yeah. How are you as a shooter right now? How would you? What type of shooter are you right now? But I'm more like a sport of shooter and I'm, I'm working a lot on that but still, still a lot of sure. work. Anyone in uh, Europe or the NBA that you like to watch and, and study? Any players? I like to watch Chichi Thomas. That's my favorite player right now. Okay, sure. Yeah. And what about off the court? What are some, any non-basketball interests for you? All basketball. All basketball, yeah. And what about this? What's the plan for you this next season in terms of entering the draft? Is that something you're interested in? If I do it good, first of all, I have to do a good stats and a good season. Uh, and then I'm going to think about that. Great. Great. Well, thank you so much. Good luck to you.